Welcome to uh, this uh, new videocast from uh, Sociedade Portuguesa de Farmacêuticos de Cuidados de Saúde. We are having a two-day course on the ATC DDD system, and I will speak with Liv Dancy, from a senior advisor for the WHO Collaborating Center for Drug Statistics Methodology. Thank you, Liv, for being here with us um, and for uh, uh, giving such interesting lectures on ATC DDD system. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Um, I will have some questions for you um, about the ATC DDD system, and I would like to know uh, what the main, the basic principle. What does the ATC DDD stand for? Uh, yes, so uh, ATC it stands for anato ana anatomic uh, therapeutic uh, chemical, and the DDD stands for a defined uh, daily dose. That's what the abbreviations stand for. And uh, how in you in practice uh, classified drugs in the ATC DDD uh, system? Yes, uh, so we classify drugs in the ATC system based on uh, the therapeutic uh, use uh, of the drug. But it's not a strictly therapeutic uh, classification system. We also take into consideration uh, other factors. As I said, it stands for anatomical, therapeutic and uh, chemical. So for instance, we also take into consideration the pharmacological uh, class. So we have these uh, different levels in the classification system. Uh, so first of all, it's the anatomical uh, level, which we classify uh, based on. Uh, and the second uh, level is usually um, therapeutical or pharmacological uh, uh, level. And then we also uh, uh, further divide it into a third uh, and fourth level, which can be both uh, a chemical, therapeutical or pharmacological class. Um, and why do we need this um, ATC DDD system, which, is, which are the main purposes of the DDDs? Uh, yes, so uh, a DDD is a defined daily dose, which is uh, uh, an, a volume measure, which is independent of different factors, such as uh, the package size and the strength of the product. So by using the ATC uh, DDD system, you can make statistics that is uh, comparable. So you can compare your consumption, uh, for instance, between hospitals, between different regions in the countries, and you can also compare uh, between other uh, countries. Uh, and it's a useful system to assess for trends uh, in the consumption. So in a way, it uh, represents an international language for doing drug utilization research and monitoring, which is the main purpose uh, of the ATC uh, DDD uh, system. Um, and uh, what are the main uh, take-home message that uh, you would like to give to the participants of this uh, course on ATC DDD system? So uh, if you are working uh, with statistics or using the ATC DDD system, I would also like to say that we have some guidelines that would be useful to look into if you have any, any questions uh, regarding how drugs are classified or uh, DDDs. But maybe also to point out that uh, DDDs should not be uh, viewed as uh, correct doses. They are, uh, it's always like you have to have the international or global view when you think about DDDs because it represents different countries and it's not a, a correct dose, it's a technical, uh, uh, technical uh, unit. Uh, okay. And I will also say that uh, to using the ATC DDD system, it's, it's sort of a simple methodology, but it's very useful for uh, its purpose, which is, which is to use it for drug utilization research and monitoring. Okay. Thank you, Liv. Thank you also the WHO Collaborating Center for Drug Statistics uh, Methodology for coming uh, to Portugal to, to give this course. Uh, thank you also uh, everyone that uh, stayed with us uh, to assist this videocast. <laughs>